Hello everybody, good day and welcome to another lesson for you guys out there and um, for today's video we will be looking at Bell or Bell Corporation and as you can see it has risen up exponentially uh, since March of this year so in a few months from yeah it started around 1.2 pesos now it's around 2.49 went to as high as 3 so we will analyze this and use uh, confluences for this so right now uh, it has retested the the spy frat Bollinger support so this is a combination of Bollinger bands and the 50 period moving average so it has retested it here and has risen up since hitting the low of 2.29 uh, around 2.3 and has risen up to 2.49 right now to as high as 2.57 so we will use uh, Fibonacci here reverse Fibonacci and as you can see yeah, wait a minute uh, for the yeah well, let's try this time frame first so imagine th these candles uh has not happened yet so for this high to low it has risen up to 61.8 percent fibonacci the golden ratio and now we will adjust it so right now high to low um it has risen up to 38.2 fibonacci right now it's above uh 2.45 above the uh, 23.6 Fibonacci uh, good case for this is uh, it will go above these crucial Fibonacci levels these three right here so above 38.2 it has slight momentum and above the the uh, golden ratio uh, it will show uh, strength so what I'd like to do is also use the uh, exponential moving average uh, on the weekly, especially on like fast, like really fast moving uh, stock prices. I really like to use the EMA nine. So for the for this uh, nine period on the weekly. And as you can see right here, first run up, it retested the golden ratio and uh, it retested right here close to the EMA9. So it held above EMA9, so the move is still valid. And right now, it's still above the EMA9, so it is still valid and let's uh, go right here Fibonacci retracement so confluences here as you see almost retested the 61.8% uh, Fibonacci right now wasn't able to go up the 38.2% Fibonacci if you also do reverse Fibonacci pattern here so this part is a confluence of this Fibonacci level and also this Fibonacci level on the reversed Fibonacci so this is how you use uh, confluences in trading for example using two Fibonacci levels and as you see right here so um, as you know in trading the prices the levels are not 100% accurate so you have to use um, areas so this is the area right here I hope it can break this and uh, also could go above this level right here for momentum but if you want to buy this um, use this as the support maybe around 
2.3 entry if you want to buy it at market since this is 2.49 so it's not that big of a risk 2.49 2.5 down to 2.3 to 2. Point, um, and this 2.2 not super big risk so you have to manage and again with trading uh, we do get whip sauce from time to time so yeah you you just have to manage you take the loss you can always re-enter again if uh, for some reasons you made a mistake uh, the prices went up again so you just re-enter analyze the chart again and re-enter and accept the whipsaw so it is what it is actually um these uh technical indicators are are just here to guide to guide us and uh yeah this is how to use ema9 just follow the ema9 as long as the prices are above ema9 especially on the weekly chart then trend is still intact on the week on the daily right here as you see uh, there's more movement there's more whipsaws here if you follow the daily on the EMA 9 so uh, especially if there is like strong upward movement uh, yeah use the weekly chart if you want to use the EMA 9 indicator and as usual uh, pair it with the Fibonacci uh, indicator for this so yeah for me this is the support area this is the low hopefully it doesn't break this area 2.29 probably 2.25 can take that as the last area before you cut it and uh, for this to uh, yeah, hopefully it will go hold and go up so anyways yeah I hope you found this informative uh, using another technique here EMA 9 which is quite useful in really upward trending uh, market uh, useful as a guide for side for sideways um, I suggest not to use the EMA9 uh, indicator because you will get whipsaws. For sideways, just use uh, trend lines. So anyways, again, hope you enjoy this one and see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye-bye.